Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at how we can actually create a new project in Xcode using Xcode 15 for making iOS apps in class. Uh, the first thing we do is we want to make a new project. As you can see, I just go up to File, New, and then Project to get that started off. It brings up this little modal window to start off, and we want to choose iOS from the platform type and App from the actual type of application we're making. We're just using the basic one every single time to get that going. I'll go ahead and hit the Next button from there. On the next window, we want to choose our product name. So our product name should describe the project itself. Make sure you just describe the project. Don't say app in it, just give the project name. So in this case, it's going to be a demo project with Xcode 15. So it gives it a name that describes exactly what it's doing. For the organization identifier, I choose my first name dot class. So I can have, oh, this is what's going on. So I can use a prefix on that for my bundle identifier to give unique values for my project itself. The interface type we're going to be using is going to be Swift UI for all of our projects here in class. Same with the language of Swift. For storage for default projects, leave that at none for now. We'll talk about that when we do data projects later on. And you do want to make sure you include a checkbox on the include test for that because we're going to be using testing to do all sorts of stuff with class projects. And then going to go ahead and hit next. We want to make sure we're saving our projects to the correct directory. As you can see right here, I have the Swift 2023 folder selected for that, where all my class projects we've done so far are selected. And so we want to choose that as the directory we're using to make that happen. And we choose that for there. We want to go also check down here at the bottom of that window that make sure we do not select the source control. We want to handle that through GitHub separately. So we'll just make sure that's unchecked and then hit create. As you can see, it does a quick little project creation right there. And that starts up the project. We're using Xcode 15, so it's going to be a little bit different from some of the previous videos you've seen for that. And so we'll talk about what we need to do to make that happen. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and squish this window over here to the side of it so our preview is not quite as big to give us more space for our editor. The second thing we're going to be doing is I want to fix my squigs so they always make the way I like them. So I'm going to go ahead on here and just put the squigs so they're vertically aligned because I like that so much better. So just fix the vertically aligned squigs right there and hit save. Same thing inside app.swift. This is why we don't name it with an app in the name. Otherwise, we'd have app app.swift. That just looks kind of weird, so we don't want to have that there. So that's the first thing we have is we set, uh, fix the squigs inside our two.swift files that are created by default within the project. I'm going to go ahead and close that one right there because I don't need to see that. I'm also going to collapse my folders right here for the testing because I don't need to worry about them at all. Um, we can take a look at the content view.swift right here. You can see we have our struct content views where we start off with that. The one big change right here is we have instead of the uh, preview provider type, we just have hashtag preview for that, which is what pulls the preview over here inside our canvas. And so that's right there. We're going to rename content view because we want to have a better name for that. We always rename our content view.swift file to better reflect what it is we're doing inside our project. So I'm going to name this to be demo view. And instead of doing command click like we used to in previous versions of Xcode, we use control click. And control click, as you can see, brings up that context sensitive menu. So I go over here to rename, refactor, and then rename. And I'll name this instead of content view. I'll call this demo view. Really creative right there. I do want to make sure, though, I include the comment for that. So I click a plus sign on that, so that's all. You can see all five values are selected with that. And I just press enter to make that happen. And that gives us our renamed preview right there. I'll go ahead and hit save for that. Great time to commit if you're using GitHub as well. I'm then going to move uh, my files around so I can have that happen. You can see my preview had that demo view listed right there. I'm going to move my assets and my app.swift into a resources directory. So I'm just going to click on those both with a command key to select both at one time. And then I'm going to right click and go down to new group from selection. And I named this so group resources because that's what I'm working with. That's where I put my resources for that project and hit enter. And that renames it. I can squish that now out of the way. My demo view is also going to do its own group as well, so I can have multiple views for that. And that is going to be a new group from selection. I'm going to put that in the view controller group. And so that organizes our project so we can see what's happened. So I have my project right here. I have the project properties right here in that blue icon on the top left of the navigation explorer. And so we can see that right there. And that's where we have that. But the big thing we have right here is we want to go to our demo view.swift now, which is where all of our code will be happening. We have a quick project we made. We fixed the squigs on the stuff. We made the folders for our resources directory and our view controller directory where we grouped that. We renamed content view to be something that more reflects what we're working with. And that's what we do to start a project. I can play that project by hitting command R to run that project. It'll load it inside the simulator instead of just the preview. I bring that simulator over here to the screen. My app is now running the simulator right here just like that. So I can actually click on that. There's my app. It doesn't do anything. But we made that so it can happen. We have a preview. We have a full-fledged app. And it's just a quick way you can do making a project inside Xcode 15 working with iOS. I hope this is helpful. Cheers. We'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.